Blessings, my friend. Blessings to you all. This is your brother, indeed, Pastor Simeon Gideon Nerelus, with uh, the Gideon Podcast on Envision Radio. And uh, we are blessed once again to be in the land of the living together with you. And today, we do have a special program for you. May God bless you. Let us pray, Father God in heaven. We surely do thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, and for your grace. Thank you for life, Father. Thank you for strength. And thank you for common sense. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for you. Thank you for this uh, podcast and thank you for this uh, uh, network, uh, this media network, uh, the Envision Radio. May you bless the director, Sister Lee's daughter, and may you bless each and every one of our listening audience around the world. Come, manifest yourself, bless us, and prepare us as your Gideons in these last days to be ready for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the pleasure, the pleasure is mine. Yes, the pleasure is mine to be once again with you. Uh, thank you for continuing to listening to this uh, anointed uh, network, uh, uh, the network that inspire, and especially the Gideon podcast that here to uh, stimulate you spiritually, uh -huh, to motivate you spiritually. And, uh, you know, to, to allow yourself to be influenced by the power of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Well, before we get to our word today, uh, I have to share with you the this project that I'm working on. The, the Gideon uh, po po uh, uh, podcast is working on. It is uh, a book mobile, friends. It's a book mobile for the children of uh, the country, the Republic of Haiti. Uh, this book mobile, as you know, it's a library on a bus uh, equipped with laptops and electricity and books of, of all sorts. To, so we can go where the children are, where the kids are, whether it be at a park or at a camp meeting or at the schools, at a picnic, we go there and pull the bus and allow them to open the world to them. Hmm? And very soon they can listen to this broadcast also. And if you are a teacher, you can, uh, you know, if you're a bilingual teacher, you can help us teach them. Imagine that, friends. Well, we need your help. We need your help. For more information, you can uh, uh, call us at 561 Six three one two seven nine zero five six one six three one two seven nine zero, and also if you so desire, we do have uh, a GoFundMe page. Uh, GoFundMe page is Haiti Kids Book Mobile. Haiti Kids Book Mobile, and kids with the S. Haiti Kids. Book mobile Haiti as the country of Haiti H A I T I K I D S Book Mobile all in one word. Check us out, friends. We would love to partner with you, and definitely the children of Haiti are uh, they have their eyes on you. So thank you. As they face many challenges, two millions of them face acute hunger. That makes education learning very difficult. We count on your blessings and your prayers and financial blessings. May God bless you. 
Now, let us get to our word today. Yes, the word for today is, is rebaptism ever proper? We have spoken about baptism and the requirements before you get baptized. We have to repent. We have to submit ourselves. Now, is rebaptism ever proper? Well, rebaptism. Uh, you were baptized before and you are accepted as a Christian. But how about rebaptism? Well, let us get right to our word this uh, today. And uh, yes, is a baptism, a rebaptism ever proper? We will go to the word because there is no other way to have it. Amen. Let us read from, from Acts chapter 19. Act, the book of Acts chapter 19, verse 2 and 3 that says, They said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then? were you baptized that was apostle paul mm -hmm. a, a, talking to a new testament christians as you know before christ went to heaven he predicted he prophesied that he will ask the father to send another comforter just like him the holy spirit and the Holy Spirit will lead the, the church into all truth, all the truth, as it is in Jesus. The, all the truth means Jesus himself. Amen. So, yes. Christ went to heaven. And the sacrifice was accepted. And 50 days after Pentecost, right? Then, the Holy Spirit fell on the church. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. So now, of course, some people will not, uh, uh, could not have heard of it all at once. It is through the preaching of the gospel that will, they will come to know the truth about the Holy Spirit. Well, Paul met with a group of those Christians. And that's why we read from Acts chapter 19, verse 2 and 3, that says, They said unto him, they said unto Paul, We have not heard as much whether there is any Holy Spirit. And Paul said unto them, Then unto what were you baptized? Because, you know, before Christ was there, then, you know, the Holy Spirit was not sent. Yet, yeah. all right, so let's continue our quest for the truth in verses 3 and 4 of Acts chapter 19 tells us that, and they said, uh huh, and they said unto John, all right, and they said unto John's baptism. Then Paul said, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, meaning on Christ, which should come after him, mm -hmm. after John. Christ will come after John. Then now Christ is no more was no more with them physically but through the person through the uh person of the holy spirit they didn't know about it john did his work he preached repentance before the coming of christ amen but now christ was not there they had to know about the holy spirit Anyway, they have to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. And verses 4 and 5 tells us, 
that is on Christ Jesus. When they heard that this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. They were baptized again to receive the Holy Spirit. Because they didn't know about it. It's a new era. It's a new thing. It's a new, yeah, a new, a new thing. That's the church. So, yes, let's continue. Let's continue. So, we can see that they were baptized unto John baptism. John was preaching repentance before the coming of the Messiah that comes right after John. They were born about, about the same time. And John was older than Jesus because he had to prepare the way for Christ. And we as Gideons of the last days, God called us to proclaim, to prepare the way of the Lord. Lift up ye gates. Let the king of glory come. And that's why we are doing at Gideon, at the Gideon podcast, we are preparing the way of the Lord. Yes, as we see the whole world was amazed by this uh, solar eclipse. But yes, friend, these are natural phenomenon and the, the, that have prophetic messages for us in these last days. But we are not to be amazed by the creation. We have to know the creator. Amen, 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 amen. Yeah? Oh, people are looking for the real thing, but they don't know it is Jesus Christ that they need. So is baptism connected with going to a church? Now we see that, for example, if you don't know the truth about the Sabbath, if you did not know the truth about the holy seventh day, Sabbath day, Saturday of the Lord, now you know the truth. There is nothing wrong to be rebaptized. That didn't, that doesn't mean you are not Christian before that. Now you become a Christian. No, there is a, another level of anointing that you receive from the Lord. So they didn't know some of the uh, disciples that were that, that John baptized didn't know about the coming of the Holy Spirit. Because you know, at the upper room, there were 120 people there. So all the vast of people that will have been baptized afterward, it eventually they will catch up. Holy Spirit will catch up with them to know. And that's what we are doing. The world doesn't know about this truth. So that's why we take the time. That's why Envision Radio have such program to educate you, to teach you. And so that together we can learn and be ready for the Lord, my Lord. Oh, as I see the world, I uh, was amazed by this solar eclipse. And, but I'm wondering, wow, how many of them really know the creator, the one who created all of this? Yes, it was a beautiful picture when you look. Wow, how amazing. But do you know there are worlds, there are universes uh, out there. there. There is a mega verse out there that waiting to be explored by the saved, by the redeemed. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Father God, we pray, we ask that this word may touch somebody right now, may bring healing to their body, to their mind, to their spirit, Lord, to their soul. As they navigate through life, they may keep their eyes focused on the life giver. And that is you, Yahweh, Jah, the living God, the life. Help us, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Is baptism connected to a church? Join a church? Let us see some people say, you know what? I believe in Christ, but I don't, I'm not part of a conventional denomination. Or I am non-denominational. What does that mean? I don't know, but 
Listen to this. Acts chapter 2 verse 41 tells us, Then they glad, then they that gladly received his words were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Hmm? Now, Peter started preaching under the power anointing of the Holy Spirit without sophisticated microphones and sound system, you know, PA system, right? The Holy Spirit took over. 3,000 people hear the word. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. What happened? Were they just wherever and just, just like that? No, they were added unto them. That means there, were, there was a church. There was an organization. So, in verse 47 of Acts chapter 2 tells us, praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Christ is calling you to get into all the truth. We're not preaching mine is better than yours, but we are preaching the truth as it is in Jesus Christ. He is the truth. He is the embodiment, the personification of truth, of the word, of the law, of grace, of mercy. All of this in him. Mercy and truth kiss each other in Christ. So and I invite you, my friends, as you study before about the Sabbath, Holy Sabbath day. Maybe you were worshipping all your life on Sunday. Well, as we learn, Sunday is not the Lord's day. Sunday is man's, is a man-made day. You cannot risk your eternal salvation on a misconception or no, 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 no. We have to know the truth. We have to dig before it's too late. Get into all the truth and nothing but the truth as it is in Jesus Christ. Amen. So I invite you. I invite you. Come with humility, with a, you know, humble heart. Christ is calling you to come to taste how good he is. You won't be deceived, my friend, my brother, my sister. Oh, yes. Knowing that you are in connection, you are in sync with the universe that's worshiping God on the day that God ordered, that God commanded. Yes, Lord. Ye are called in one body. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Christ call us in one body, ladies and gentlemen. One body. The body, it's one person. We have heads, hearts, feet. That doesn't mean one church, one denomination is the head, one denomination is the feet. No, 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 no. It's one church. But for real, but if we are all worshiping the same God, we have the same Bible. Amen? We have the same Bible. So how come we be so divided, folks? These are questions we have to ask ourselves. And Jesus said it. A kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. And that's why Babylon the amalgam uh, amalgamation of all these churches that don't have the foundation or with the truth in revelation chapter 14 verse 8 it says babylon is falling the churches these churches these mega churches that are preaching everything but the truth they are being fell they are falling. You can rest assured. 
Don't get twisted. Don't get messed up. Babylon is falling. Is falling. Babylon the Great. A mixture of church and state. A mixture of truth and lies and abomination. Wake up, America. Wake up, world. You, you, my brother, my sister, wake up. What does it profit a man to be a superstar? Yes, you can feed yourself. I can pay my bills. Yes, and then you lose your soul. What can you give in exchange for your soul? Lord have mercy. If I refuse baptism, who am I refusing? Let's see Luke chapter 7. Verse 30. Luke chapter 7, verse 30. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves. They think they know. They have PhD. They have DD. That means doctorate in divinity. They have uh, what THD, doctorate in theology. They have indeed master of divinity. They are popular. They are millionaires. It's like whatever they say goes. That's what happened to the Pharisees. They think they know. That's what happened to the devil too. He think he knew. Be careful, friend. Be very careful. So the Pharisees and lawyers of the of the of of, of, of what is that? The, the, the lawyers of of of, of uh, these are doc- these are doctors of of of, of you know we we'll say doctors of divinity you know these are the they were they were it they rejected the counsel of God against themselves being not baptized of Him. If you are Christian, we have to have the character trait of Christ. We have to be humble. We have to be willing to learn. And it, it is okay if you didn't know about the truth of the Sabbath. It's okay. And me, I have to be humble to teach the truth and love. Pray for me. Amen. We all need Jesus. Come on now. The fact that you didn't know about the Sabbath, that doesn't make you a lesser of a Christian. But no, I am a sinner also. I, I may not even observe the Sabbath rightly as I should, but I know the truth about the sabbath and every sabbath i observe it and i'm trying to do my best every day to do it better so i invite you also to do the same brother and sister it's a love thing when jesus was baptized what did christ say what did god says the father and it came to pass in those days that jesus came from nazareth of galilee and was baptized of john and Jordan. Jesus was baptized and Mark 1 11 says, and there came a voice from heaven saying, thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Would you like God to say that for you? Welcome true and faithful servant. Come in the joy of your father. In Act 22 verse 16 says, and now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Serve Christ in spirit and in truth. Oh, friends, you would like to be part of this great movement of end time people, of the Gideons, the watchmen, watchmen of God, like John the Baptist, prepare the way for Christ. We are called to prepare the way of the Lord, the second coming. 561-631-2790. You can call the Envision Network also. They will connect you with us. We will connect you to a church near you that observes the truth and nothing but the truth. 
the Sabbath of the Lord that teach baptism. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this program once again. We thank you for our beloved brothers and sisters listening, the families listening to this program, Father God. Give them the anointing, the burning in their hearts to seek the truth more and be baptized in the truth and nothing but the truth. So help us, Lord Jesus, Yahweh, our Elohim. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We love you, Lord, and we bless your name. And thank you for saving us from sin, from this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. My friend, my brothers, my sisters, it was a pleasure to be with you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Stay. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Peace. Blessing unto you. Amen.